is my Who Do We Send Birthday Cards To report. This report that we have up here is a marketing analysis report by referring provider. Here we can see by referring provider how many new patients they referred over to us, how many existing patients we have that they sent over to us for referrals during that time period, the number of visits that they sent in the particular time period, plus not only the charges, but how much it came in on payments from each of those different referring physicians. Now you can look at this one of two ways. If we look at this and say, you know what, uh, John Trapper here referred over 120 in charges, 210 in payments versus 550 in charges, 220 in payments for Hawkeye Pierce. You can go through here and say, you know what, I have a referring physician who's not not sending me anything anymore, I don't really care about them. Or if you can see that somebody is no longer referring someone over to you, you can maybe reach out to them and say, why? In the, the financial times that we're in right now, each office needs to ensure that they are getting the maximum reimbursement and keeping busy. Patients are not showing up to their appointments because of the copays. If that's the case, you need to make sure that you're doing everything you can to keep the flow of patients coming into your office. This marketing analysis report will give you one way of doing that. It'll tell you which referring providers you either need to keep schmoozing or ones that you need to reach out to and uh, maybe explore why they're not sending business your way anymore. Okay, here is one that I have to bring up every time I show the reports in Metasoft, and that's the facility-based reports. Prior to version 15, I got bombarded by requests to get reports out by facility. This report, and this report is one of many in Metasoft version 16 that will allow you to filter out by facility and get totals by facility. What you can see on this particular report is the number of charges, payments, adjustments, and then your net effect on AR for each facility that you have within your practice. How many of you have multiple facilities or have, if you're a billing service, how many of you have doctors that have multiple facilities? <laughs> Why do you care about this? So you said, because they want to know the difference between this one and that one. Is this report simply there for curiosity's sake? If you're running a good business, you need to determine, is this facility profitable for me? If the facility is not profitable for you, what do you need to do? You need to close it. It's a hard decision to make in a lot of cases, but a, a healthy business knows which of their facilities are performing and where that revenue is coming from. It could also tell you this facility is overperforming. They might be in need of some help by either opening a new facility in that area or moving some business over to one of the other facilities. So there's a lot of different business type decisions that you need these types of reports in order to make. And if Metasoft can't provide them for you, then you're going to have uh, either some guesswork involved or you have to go to some other party. We believe Metasoft should enable you to make these decisions out of the box. And that's why these reports come standard. Some other report features that we want to talk about. With version 16, we made a big change to how the, the report system is integrated into the system. Those of you who have version 15 will know that you have to log into Metasoft, and then it asks you for another login to get into the report system. It's not all that fun. It's sort of annoying, and a lot of people forget their password that they put on their reports, and we have to go figure out how to get back into it. With Metasoft version 16, we have completely integrated the security of focus into the security in Metasoft so that your users that are set up level one through five, you have the ability to specify security for each and every report that you have in focus or in Metasoft reports. You no longer have a separated security model for uh, Metasoft and the, the reporting system. It is all unified. It also allows for uh, security around custom reports. There's also a system known as Report Server that if you purchase Reports Professional, it will allow you to have a server that will run the reports for you at a different time of day. Now, this is important to those of you who have lots of data and you don't want to jam up your computer system running a report in the middle of the day. 
you need the ability to schedule some of these reports to run in the middle of the night because the report might take three hours to run. We have done a lot of work over the last little while trying to figure out ways to speed up some of these reports. And when it comes down to it, a lot of these reports have very complicated mathematical equations that are behind them. And there's only so much speeding up that we can do when you have millions of rows of data that have to be analyzed. So the, you can either sit there and take up your day by waiting for the report, or you can utilize the report server, which will allow you to run a report in the middle of the night and have it waiting for you when you get in in the morning. The report server gives you the option to email the report so you can really take the paperless concept to the next level and not print out your reports, but have them delivered to your email inbox. And like we said, we can schedule reports. The other feature within Reports Professional that's available is Instant Reports, which will read the active screen that you have open and generate a report out based on the data that's on that screen. The example that we use for this is if a patient is in your office scheduling a follow-up visit for three months out and you want to print a reminder card out, if you have that uh, follow-up visit open within office hours, you press a button, it'll spit out a reminder card to a Dymo label printer. So that is a feature that is in Metasoft Reports Professional, which is an add-on product.